So the video's happening. We are going to make my world famous spaghetti. Just kidding, there's only been one other person to try it and he's not even that into it. So will this be the best spaghetti you've ever tasted? I don't know, but it's definitely the best that I've ever tasted. I went back and forth between whether or not I was going to upload this video on my main channel or my vlog channel. Obviously we're here now on my vlog channel. I just decided that was the easiest right now um, because my main channel is kind of a hot mess. So we're gonna just let that chill for a second because I think I, d I have decided to just post whatever I want on my main channel, but I think this is a little too out of left field. So you guys are getting a treat here on the vlog channel, but I do want to do cooking videos on the main channel eventually. But I feel this pressure to make them like artsy and like super interesting. And then when I do something on the vlog channel, it's just kind of like real and chill and we're just gonna cook together. I cleaned my apartment like you guys were coming over like to my actual apartment and uh, so enjoy the clean kitchen. It's never this clean. Also my kitchen is my least favorite part of our apartment and that's another reason why I've never done cooking videos really because it's just ugly. <laughs> I hate our cabinets. They're the gross apartment cabinets that you get. Um, gross fridge. It's just not cute and I just feel like cooking videos are never really that successful unless you have like a cute well we just got real white unless you have like a cute space I just feel like no one wants to watch cooking videos but then it's like I want to post them because I love cooking and I want to share my recipes with you guys because I think you would really benefit from it so I mean maybe I have very weird taste so keep that in mind when I make this I like some weird shit, okay? <laughs> I make weird concoctions all the time, so just bear with me. I, I like sharing my weird concoctions because I know my viewers are kind of weird too, so I think you guys will like it. Okay, I think I grabbed everything that I need. I do want to give a disclaimer that I am not vegan, so this recipe will not be made vegan, but it is very easy because it's spaghetti to be made vegan. So I just want to throw that out there. I am using vegan butter. Um, it tastes really good. I highly recommend it. You can cook the shallots and vegetables or whatever you want to put in your spaghetti in oil if you want. Like whatever you want to do, this recipe is very customizable but if you don't use exactly what I use, you won't be eating my spaghetti. So will it be the best spaghetti you've ever tried? No guarantees unless you use exactly what I use, which is weird. I get a little weird. Oh, I forgot an ingredient. So for this, you're gonna need spaghetti, of course. I like to get thin spaghetti and I like to get the protein spaghetti because I don't eat meat, so. And tomato paste is a very important ingredient. They're all important, let's just say that. But probably the most important piece to this recipe are the shallots. You need to use shallot. It adds so much Come on camera. They add so much flavor to whatever you're cooking. It's been my favorite ingredient lately to cook with is shallots because it's a combination of garlic and onion, two of my favorite ingredients. We got butter. Highly recommend cooking the shallots in butter. It adds so much flavor. Um, this is one of the weird ingredients. Okay, these mozzarella balls. <laughs> this is very important, although I'm not going to use the actual mozzarella, although you could. We don't really need mozzarella in our spaghetti. It's really the oil that I'm after. This oil, I I only add a little bit, but it just adds so much flavor and texture to the spaghetti, so I highly recommend getting some fresh mozzarella. Basil, very important. This is my favorite kind to get instead of fresh because it lasts for a super long time, and I use a shit ton of that in there. I like to add mushrooms to the shallots when they're cooking as part of the spaghetti sauce, but you don't have to do that. That one is very optional. I've also used zucchini. You can put zucchini in there. Two other secret ingredients, sugar. Very important to add sugar to your spaghetti sauce, and also wine. Clearly this was full when I bought it um i drank most of it the other night so, so i just got some chardonnay i don't know if that's the best to cook with i just grab a cheap white wine i don't even need that much so that's basically it for the sauce and then we have some cheese this is unexpected cheddar it looks nasty but unexpected cheddar from trader joe's it is a replica for parmesan which is vegetarian well parmesan's not vegetarian this is vegetarian so i highly recommend getting some of that or you can put whatever cheese you want if you eat parmesan eat throw it on there, you do you. And then this evening, I'm gonna be roasting some Brussels sprouts, which is one of my go-tos. This is honestly my favorite dinner combination and probably would be my last meal if I ever 
I had to have a last meal, I don't know. And then I do add seasoning to this. I'll add some salt. I just kind of look in here and see what, you know, what I want to season with. I've been loving this Trader Joe's mushroom umami seasoning. It's great for vegetarians and vegans. I usually put in a lot of onion powder and garlic powder into my pasta, into my spaghetti sauce. Actually, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is chop up your shallots which there is this giant one in here and I think I'm gonna use that one because I like a lot of shallot in my recipe. You can of course use however much shallot that you want. Can I just say that I have made some recent discoveries lately, one of which, and probably the most important one, I realized how amazing Schitt's Creek is, the show. If you have not watched that, you have to. It has a great cast. There's actual relatives acting together, which is great because they already have that natural chemistry. It stars uh, Kevin's mom from Home Alone, who she plays easily the best character on the show, Moira. Oh my God, why isn't she memed more often? Like she is hilarious to me. Like one of the funniest characters ever written into a sitcom. And I am not a sitcom lady. I just want to say that. I don't like funny shows a lot. Well. That's a lie, I kind of do. I liked Last Man on Earth for a little while. I know people usually grab like the first layer of the onion or the shallot and peel it off instead of just picking off the paper skin of it, but I don't like to waste any part of the shallot. If that outside layer is edible, I'm gonna sit here and peel off this paper thing uh, off of the, the shallot because I'm not gonna waste any of my shallots. Oh, I forgot the most important part. You've got to start your pasta before you do anything else. So hold that thought. The reason why is because it is very important to use the pasta water in your sauce because you might be thinking tomato paste is not enough to create a sauce and you're right. So we have to use pasta water. I have used milk before. So if you want your pasta to be more creamy, by all means use whatever your favorite kind of milk is. Also another show I watch is Game of Thrones. I don't know if anyone knows that about me that I watch Game of Thrones because I never tweet about it or talk about it. And that's because of spoilers. I despise people who tweet about it and like spoil it for other people. I have so many words muted right now on Twitter because of this season. I actually don't hate season eight right now. Sorry if you're not a Game of Thrones fan, this conversation is gonna be very boring for you. Feel free to skip ahead. I don't hate this season. I honestly think it's my favorite and that's so controversial because everyone's like hating the writing. But I mean, honestly, I have been new. Like I feel vindicated with this season. And I cannot believe there's only one episode remaining this week. Like. It's honestly very sentimental to me and my boyfriend because he showed me Game of Thrones when we first started dating. So our whole relationship, we have had that show and it's kind of been our show. The shallots are really getting me. They might be part garlic, but they're definitely part onion. Oh my God. I didn't even turn the water on. What am I doing? Oh my God. I am weird and I like to sit here and pick apart all my shallots because I like my spaghetti to come out perfect. And in order for that to happen, all the shallot needs to be separated. I also forgot to start my Brussels sprouts. That's usually the first part to this whole thing, whatever vegetable. I usually roast vegetables when I do my spaghetti because I like to have a side of vegetables. Roasted carrots are easily one of my favorites. They are just like candy to me. I don't remember honestly when I discovered that I really like Brussels sprouts. It's been a minute. They're hands down one of my favorite vegetables. If not my favorite, uh, shallots could be my favorite if that counts as like a favorite vegetable because it's like an onion to me. It's like meant for seasoning things. Well, the last night, Ryan and I, because we love Game of Thrones, we looked up recipes. These Brussels sprouts are not great. This is not gonna be a great batch, but it's just not the season for Brussels sprouts anymore, sadly. Anyway, we looked up recipes for Game of Thrones, which obviously entails a lot of meat, so I can't partake in a lot of the recipes, but we kept seeing stuff about turnips and like turnips cooked in a lot of butter. So we decided to buy a turnip and uh, I found a recipe for a roasted turnip with butter and shallots. So we ate roasted shallots last night and I discovered another discovery. They're very good. I'm trying to think of other stuff that I make on a regular basis. Um, I do make this Mexican quinoa that Ryan and I eat all the time. A couple times a month I'll make that. Um, but Ryan and I do try to cook every day. So his favorite things to cook 
that we eat a lot is shakshuka. Uh, we're really into curry right now, so we eat a lot of curry. We just like anything that is has a lot of vegetables in it because he and I both just are obsessed with vegetables, which is such... And am I an adult? Is that like the defining moment of adulthood when you just love vegetables that much? Sorry, this is such a disaster. I have been trying to convince Ryan. I don't know if you catch it in the vlogs. I try to tell him we need a basket for this right here to hide all of this. Just shove all this shit in a basket and put it on top of the microwave so you can't see this. Also, these bags are really irritating to me. Anyway, the water's boiling. I have to put the pasta in. This will cook really fast because they're thin spaghetti. It's not angel hair exactly, but close to. It's like in between angel hair and spaghetti. I have tried this with healthier pastas. I did like a chickpea pasta the other day. I've tried like veggie pasta, you know, like the green kind, uh, anything like that. You can just pick whatever pasta you wanna make. Ryan's not the biggest fan of spaghetti. I. It's a blessing and a curse. Honestly, I could eat this every single day and I do make it once or twice a week easily. And those are the days where I'm really selfish and I tell Ryan, if you don't want spaghetti too bad, I'm making it today, I just am craving it. So figure out your own dinner. I'm just kidding. I'll make enough in case he wants to snack on it. But it's like on one hand, I'm like really excited because I love it and I get all of it for myself and you know more for me but then on the other hand it's like i feel bad that when i make it he it's not like a joint dinner <laughs> so i'm just gonna lay them out coat them in some oil i like to use a lot of oil don't judge me i feel like that's one of the reasons why i don't do cooking videos it's so easy to get judged on how you cook things and how you eat but it's so personal that it's like i don't want to Put myself out there like that because I don't know I don't care what people think about how I eat or how I make things or if I'm not vegan or anything like that because I'm content in my lifestyle and my diet choices so it really doesn't affect anyone else you know I think that's enough seasoning I just kind of wing it every time I make Brussels sprouts to be honest and then I always use my hands to toss them mm. and then I sit here and I take the time to put all of them face up because that is the best toast, toastedness that you get on the Brussels sprout if they're facing up. So I sit here and I make sure I turn every single one face up. All right, so the pasta is going. It honestly cooks so fast, so that's gonna be almost done. And I haven't even started the shallots. I'm running so behind, but I'm gonna pop in these Brussels sprouts. Oh my God, it's so hot. I'm gonna turn that to like a medium low almost. And then I'm gonna take some of this butter i like to use a lot you can use however much but again if you don't copy me exactly you're not gonna get my spaghetti so just keep that in mind this whole time you can customize this as much as you want but if you want the best spaghetti you've ever eaten you better follow this exactly as i don't give you any measurements to anything at all all right i'm gonna throw the shallots in Oh, that's so many shallots. I'm so excited. So I let those cook for a little while first, and then I just go in and slice some mushrooms really fine. Does anyone else like buy stuff like this that's vegan? And then you're like, oh, I can use as much as I want because it's vegan, which means it's healthy, which obviously that's not true. It's a lie we tell ourselves, but I do that so much. It's like, I don't feel guilt using a lot of butter because it's vegan and it's it can't be that bad for you, right? Like it's gotta be better than regular butter is for you right the pasta's done so i don't want to keep cooking it so what i'm going to do is take a so i'm just going to pull like half a cup of pasta liquid out and set that aside even though that's not how much we're going to use it's just i want to make sure i have enough in there now i know i say this is the best spaghetti you're ever going to try but if you have any tips as far as how to make this better i'm all ears like I'm very open to changing it even though I think it's flawless right now and I could eat it like this forever for the rest of my life if you feel like I could improve in some way please tell me the shallots are cooking away they're browning a bit I like to caramelize them so I let them cook for a little bit uh, just to make sure that they're all like nice and toasted and brown and caramelized and gorgeous all right so I'm gonna add the mushrooms to the shallots. Again, this part's optional. You don't have to use mushrooms. If you like mushrooms, I highly recommend it because they add a lot of savory flavor to the dish. Honestly, I could just eat that. Like mushrooms and shallots cooked together. Oh my God. And this needs a little bit more liquid. So I turn the heat down to like low and then I'm going to add 
some wine. I think this adds a lot of depth into the dish. That's good. And then I just let it simmer all together in the wine and let me tell you the flavor. The next thing I do is turn up the heat to like medium high to really cook all the alcohol out and to caramelize the vegetables even more. Also smoke alarm already went off because I mean, there's some burning Brussels, but that's fine. Literally, if we cook in the kitchen at all, it's 100% guaranteed the smoke alarm's gonna go off at least one time. Like, it's so annoying, it's so sensitive. All right, so that's kind of what we're looking for. Some say it's burned, but nope, that's exactly what I want. That is perfect. So I turned the heat off for just a moment. I'm going to open the tomato paste, which I should have already had done, but that is gonna be our next step. We're gonna assemble the sauce. So we got our base flavors here. I did season it a little bit with some salt. This tomato paste has roasted garlic in it. You can get whatever flavor, whatever brand of tomato paste or sauce or whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use my spoon and scoop out about that much. It's like maybe two thirds of the can. So obviously that's not a sauce, way too thick. So that's kind of where our pasta water comes in. So I'll just start with a little bit like that and start working that in. It does take a minute to really stir it all together. And then around this stage, I like to season it a little bit more. So I take some sugar. I'll take some of the mushroom umami stuff from Trader Joe's. Add some garlic powder. Again, you can use whatever seasoning you want. Uh, I have used thyme in this. It tastes really good with thyme. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So then what I do, I take some of the oil from the mozzarella balls. So I can control the amount a little bit better. I'll take a spoon and kind of stir up the balls and then get some of that Italian seasoning in the oil and then just kind of drizzle it into the recipe. You don't need too much. That's, that's probably way too much. And then one of the most important ingredients is the basil. Again, you can use fresh basil, but there's something about this dried basil that you buy at the, in the produce section that is just so good. It almost like has a concentrated flavor. It kind of just looks like this. It's like lightly dried, so it's uh, still kind of fresh but it's just really convenient. And like I said, I put a lot. It is very strong in flavor. And that right there, guys, is basically my sauce. That is everything I do for my spaghetti sauce. I'll take some tongs and start adding in the spaghetti noodles. And I just do this so I can be in control as far as how much sauce, like what the sauce to noodle ratio is instead of dumping in all the noodles at once. I just kind of want to monitor and make sure I made the right ratios, although I'm getting pretty good about it. And then you just, you know, fold it in. I mean, just look at that beauty, like, oh. All right, so that is basically dinner. The very last step is to top it with some cheese. Now, obviously, you don't need this step if you don't want any cheese, but I highly recommend it. And if you miss Parmesan as a vegetarian, try out the unexpected cheddar from Trader Joe's. It is so delicious. And bam. There we have the best spaghetti you will ever try. I guarantee you, you are going to be obsessed with it when you try it. Okay, so it is time to taste this bad boy. I figured I'd try it on camera, even though I know, I know it's going to be perfect. So here we go. Cheers.
try this out on social media i hope you guys like these kind of videos i do want to do more of me just kind of playing around in the kitchen showing you my favorite recipes i know a lot of you guys are vegan and vegetarian as well even though i'm not vegan i try to show you and explain ways that you could make it vegan if you wanted to but i know a lot of you guys are vegetarian and would like to hear my favorite recipes and things that i cook because i do cook on a regular basis and also let me know if you want these to remain on my vlog channel or if you think that it would be appropriate to put them on my main channel i'm not really sure i feel like my main channel is already all over the place at this point in time so we'll see what happens in the future but for now i really enjoyed making this and showing you and inviting you into my home and my kitchen feels like i had some guests over and i made them my favorite dish if only you could eat this with me so yeah i hope you guys try this and i hope i inspire you to make your own sauces at home or at the very least if you're gonna buy jarred marinara add some shit to it put some basil in there throw some sugar in there add some seasonings some vegetables do something with it please also pizza throw everything in your fridge on that pizza before you put it in the oven. That is some of my best culinary advice for you right there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go eat this because I'm starving right now and yeah, I will talk to you soon.